Have you ever tried to clean up really big data sets in Tableau Prep and found that the program starts to struggle, starts to slow down a bit? Well, I'm going to show you a technique I use to get around that problem. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's head over to Tableau. All right, let's start with the data set here. This one's a little bit different in that it's big. It's 195,000 rows. And if you want to follow along with this and get access to the file, it is in the description below. Let's drop this in. And this has 195,000 rows. And when I hit clean step, you'll notice that everything takes just a little bit longer, right? So you can only, you can imagine if it's a million rows or 2 million or, or more than that, right? It starts to take uh, much longer. And the reality is it's just more data right so one thing you can do to get around this problem is called is to use what's called sampling right so what we do is we go back to the first part of our flow which is the raw data and we're going to click on this data sample tab right and we have a few options here the first part talks about how many rows of data we're bringing into our analysis now this is not a filter in the way that when you're in a step you filter all this is is how much you're bringing into the flow for your build but when you do an output at the end it runs the entire data set at the very end right so what we're going to do is we're just going to put a general rule um, and what we want to do is for a data set that's say like 200,000 rows what we're trying to understand is what is the smallest amount of data we can bring in that can represent the larger data set so let's say 20 percent all right so let's say 20,000 rows so I click on this fixed number of rows 20,000 and what we're hoping is that those 20,000 are very similar to the rest of the data set, right? And then this part is very important. This determines where in that 195,000 you're taking those samples from. If you use the quick select, most likely, if this is your entire data set, right, it's just going to take it from the top, right? Now, you may think that's not a big deal, but it it kind of is because let's say your data set is date based, right? So the oldest stuff is from 2010 and all the stuff near the bottom is 2020. Well, the data up here may be different from here because, you know, the business changed or the rules changed or something happened in the economy. You know, the time is just different. So if you take only from the beginning, it doesn't represent your whole data set. So what you're better off doing is taking a random sample across the entire data set, which is this one right here. Right. So we activate that and it will take 20,000 rows from all over the data set. So now if I go into clean one. Right. This is now only taking 20,000 rows of data and already I can feel it's much faster, right? And I know it's 20,000 because when I go here, I can see 20,000 rows. Now you can always go back and change this if you feel that 20,000 isn't sufficient in representing your data set, right? Or if it's more than you need, then you can drop it back down. Now this is 20,000 rows. If I go output, right? And I output this, I'm just gonna output like a CSV to downloads, right, and I hit play, I am going to see here 195,000 rows generated, because remember, it's going to run the whole thing. Only for the build are we going to see the sample, right? If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a like, and what's the other thing? Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell, because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Until then, have a great day, and bye!